Hello dear viewers, I am a global nationalist. I support nationalism in my country, India, and in all countries around the globe. Today I want to talk about the country, France, and about the results of the French elections and analyze them. Let's begin. So, before I say anything, I have to congratulate Emmanuel Macron for winning the elections. Well done to him and his party en marche for winning, and I want to explain why they won. So, France's election, Emmanuel Macron has won. Now, uh, let me show you the results. Macron won 18 million votes and Marine Le Pen won 13 million votes. The percentage for Macron was 58.5% and for Le Pen was 41.5%. Now, uh, as of now, I can't really find uh, much demographic data about the results, but I can find some uh, maps. So let me show you first the 2017 map and the results for 2017 were again between Macron and Le Pen. Macron got 66.10% and Le Pen 33.90% with Macron getting 20 million and Le Pen getting 10 million. So we can see that Macron's votes have actually reduced and Le Pen's votes have increased but Macron still was the more popular candidate than her. She couldn't uh, bridge the gap. Now let's look at the map. Here, uh, from here to it's the maps is coded from uh, 50 to 85 showing the uh, degree to how much votes were got in one region uh, in 2017 uh, Le Pen basically got two regions of France two I think these are called departments which I've explained in a previous video and uh, Mac Macron just completely uh, blew her out of the water and everywhere else. This is a traditional uh, area of strength for her party. So this was a disappointing performance for her. But in this year's election, she expanded her party's reach from the north to the center and further to the southwest, south, southeast I mean, and the south and some part so the uh, center and as for Macron, however, still got more most of the regions and got a more widespread uh, vote base. You can see he's got votes in the east, in the south, in the center, and the west and the north, and. Uh, how so but uh Mar le pen has basically got votes cl in clusters of areas she hasn't been able to spread out her vote now why that is is uh hard to tell now because we don't yet have enough data to say that but um which is why i was reading this economic the economist magazine article because they explained it well Macron's votes were again like last time concentrated in urban areas he won landslides in cities including Lyon, Paris and Toulouse and also did well in the Northwest he picked up support from left-leaning cities even those in the Southwest that had supported a radical left Jean-Luc Mélenchon in the first round, Ms. Le Pen performed strongly in 
poorer, more rural areas and in regions of industrial decline in the north and east, as well as in her party's traditional stronghold in the southeast, where worries about immigration are strong and a large guard population tends to vote on the right. And so we can see that uh, Paris went 85% to Macron and 14% to Le Pen. So uh, like they said, the urban areas were completely in support of Macron. But in more rural areas like Aim or Meuse, uh, Le Pen beat him. But we can see that even in the areas that Le Pen won, she hasn't uh, gotten major uh, majorities. He still got around 40%. So she hasn't been able to really stamp her authority very well in the areas where she won. Uh, the party will have to do better in that factor by making their victories more emphatic. So... Uh, the Associated Press has mentioned, noticed that even though uh, the Marine Le Pen's party has lost, she still has succeeded in somewhat because her, she's increased her vote percentage. And this is the highest vote percentage for her party ever. And so even though this is the first time a uh, French president has been re-elected, since uh, the last two, uh, 20 years, uh, it's still uh, not as an impressive victory as it should be, considering that fact, because the opposition actually gained uh, votes from the last election. So, um, yeah. This is the first time that so many French voters have bought into the doctrine of the party that multicultural and multiracial France uh, uh, would be richer, safer, and somehow more French if it was less open to foreigners and the outside world. I just want to comment on this point that the economists have made. The country's uh, philosophy of liberty, equality, and fraternity are... Um, for the people of France. It is not meant for all the people of the world to come to France and share this philosophy. There's no reason why the French have to apply this philosophy to foreigners and the outside world. So that's the results of the election. Le Pen increased her support, but Macron still um, kept his uh, main support base. And as we saw, saw in the fact that uh, areas which voted for Mélenchon in the first round went to him, we can see that he actually gained some support. In, but ultimately, he lost the overall support that he had in 2017, and he will have to try to regain that in his second term, if he wants to govern well. He said in his victory speech that he knows that France is uh, heavily divided right now and will work to unite the country. And um, Le Pen has said that her party has had several victories in this uh, defeat and that she will continue to uh, work with the party and, in her words, uh, stand by the French people. So I think that the fight has just begun in some ways. But uh, I hope that both the parties and the other parties in France can set aside their differences for now and get on with governing. I know that there are parliamentary elections coming and I may or may not cover them. I'm not sure. I'll decide later. Uh, yeah, so for, um, but overall for these next five years, I hope that they can work together for France's sake.
Now, I am a nationalist, so obviously I was supporting a nationalist like Le Pen, just verbally, um, not through any physical or financial means. I just gave my opinion. I didn't even tell French people who to vote for. I don't want to do that on this channel. So, um, but, so I do think it would have been better if the pen had won, but I think now what needs to be done for nationalists in France is to unite the nationalist parties. For example, Eric Zemmour's party, Le Pen's party, and even some members of the Republican Party who are nationalists and are willing to either uh, leave the Republican Party or reform it into a nationalist party. Maybe they can all work together to form a nationalist front and try to uh, win a majority of the seats in the parliament. Uh, and that will help uh, make Macron, uh, what is it called? Compromise, yeah. Compromise with nationalists. And so, and make sure his agenda includes everybody not just globalists. I'm somewhat confident about France's future. I don't think that Macron is going to open the doors to immigration like uh, the Democrats in the US have, but I think that immigration is going to continue in France like it used to, and he's uh, not going to deport people as strictly as Le Pen would have done. So, uh, yeah, France's immigrant population will continue to rise, but um, not perhaps not to the extent at or speed at which it would immediately overwhelm the system, but gradually it would uh, make uh, the local French people a smaller portion of the party country still a majority but less so and this will affect the uh, politics whereby political parties will have to start catering to the immigrants needs and voices and rather than the french population the native french population which is not good for france as country because the immigrants do not share the same culture and traditions as the french people and France as a country, as a history, or and as a people, might go extinct if this trend is not reversed, which I hope the nationalists can do by winning the parliamentary elections and winning the next elections. I think in the next presidential election, the preparation for that has to be started now by the nationalists. I think Eric Zemmour should be the candidate. Uh, Le Pen has now lost three elections. It's uh, the This was her best chance and she couldn't win. So she needs to step aside and let someone new try. And Eric Zemmour has a lot of uh, passionate support behind him. And he can uh, get the French people excited about him. So he can be, he might be able to beat Macron in 2027. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. If, and once again, congratulations, Emmanuel Macron. And uh, this is the end of the video. And as always, I will uh, end it with a last message to the country. Good luck to France. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other videos related to elections, click here. If you want to see my previous video, Click here. If you want to see the sources for my video, click the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Vande Matur.